Here's an overview video of the assignment requirements for your presentations, and this is taken directly out of your module handbook. Now, first things first, keep calm. Whether you've done a presentation at a conference before or whether this whole experience is completely new for you, even designing um, a poster, if that's what you're choosing to do, a poster or Prezi or PowerPoint, please keep calm. We've got lots of time in which to explore all of this so you can do it in a, in a very collegiate way, a collaborative way with each one of us on the module. In the handbook, you'll see that section six is called assignment tasks. And as I encourage you with all of your assignments, always make sure you pick out the words telling you exactly what you need to do and then equally how you need to do it. And then you map yourself against the grading criteria to see how well you're going to do all of this. So, what you're required to do for your assessment is to perform a professional or academic conference style presentation. Hopefully you're going to be able to engage your audience well and then inspire them to ask you some questions. You follow the um, research proposal form that's on your Moodle site and what you see on the slide in front of you are some of the key areas you need to address. Now, the reason why I get you to discuss your topic ideas with me as the module leader and then with your colleagues as well. So whether that's um, during one of our workshop sessions together or whether you're still chatting on the various forum sites, share your ideas with each other because it's by exploring these you can start critically analysing this from different perspectives so that the depth of your work is far more profound. And a problem that seems to crop up for so many students on this module is that they're wondering what actually they should be doing. Are they going to do a poster? Are they going to do a PowerPoint or Prezi or whatever? So what's the difference between all of those and which one then would you prefer to choose? Whichever presentation style you're going for, uh, whether it's the poster and or Prezi or PowerPoint or something else, it should be of an acceptable quality for dissemination at a professional or academic conference, which is engaging and stimulating of peer discussion. Okay, now when you look through the guidelines, keep on picking out all of these words to make sure you are achieving them. Another question I get asked so often is how many slides or how many points on a Prezi should you be aiming for? So I keep referring you back to the research proposal form. You need to cover everything that's on there. Um, so basically, maybe you're going to come out with about 12 slides or so. Remember, you've only got 15 minutes and some slides will be much quicker to go through than others. The assessment guidelines also say that you ought to consider some epistemological, ontological and ethical principles throughout the presentation as well. And even in um, uh, an earlier part of the module where you explored uh, the nature of knowledge, that's when we started to unpick what these words mean and how they will apply to your particular field of practice. I appreciate that some of you still get rather worried and concerned about these whole notions of epistemology, ontology and ethics, but I refer you back to the particular sessions on the module where we covered those and keep on asking questions. So whether that's in our workshops together or in the various forum sites on Moodle, if you don't understand something, please keep asking questions so that you can get this really, really clear. And don't forget to rehearse your presentation. You'll find some more details on rehearsing at your presentations on the Moodle site. So go there, have a look at those and learn ways that you can best present uh, your message to your particular audience. And finally, back to the motif of don't panic again. So please read through the guidelines, take each word as to be really meaningful and use every opportunity that you can, either in class with us, whether that's online or physically in class, or on the online forum buttons, or then if you're getting one-to-one um, -one or group sessions for tutorials. Okay, please do not panic. Let's work through this together.
Then when it comes to the end of the module and you've got the opportunity to present or to perform your uh, presentation to us all, we'll do that in your um, uh, specific conference-style um, assessment days. Good luck and best wishes.